Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have xy equals to 7, yz equals to 14 and zx equals to 21. And we solve this problem for the values of x, y and z. So we have these are three equations and we call this is our equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 and this is our equation number 3. So now here in the next step uh, we multiply uh, each of these three equations first so it will be written as equation number one is multiplied by equation number two is multiplied by equation number three and now here in the next step uh, you see here we get x y is multiplied by y z is multiplied by z x so when we multiply these three equations we multiply its left hand side with left hand sides and right hand side with right hand side so in the right hand side we have 7 is multiplied by 14 is multiplied by 21 and now here in the next step uh, you see uh, we rearrange the terms and we multiply x with x and it will be written as x multiplied by x similarly we can combine uh, the y terms and y multiplied by y and at the last z is multiplied by z is equals to uh, here you have this is 7 14 and 21 and now we find the uh, prime factors of uh, these three uh, numbers so first you have this is 7 multiplied by we write over 14 as 7 times of t uh, 7 times of 2 and we write this 21 as 3 times of 7 we know that 3 times of 7 becomes here 21 and now uh, uh, in the left hand side we have x times of x becomes x squared this will be written as y squared and this is written as z squared equals to uh, here you have 7 times of 7 uh, is written as 7 squared and uh, 2 times of 3 becomes here 6 and 6 times of 7 is equals to 42 so this will be written as uh, 42 and now you see here in the left hand side uh, we have uh, all of these terms have into the squared form so we will uh, write uh, the square in common form and it will be written as x y z and its whole square is equals to 7 square multiplied by 42 and now here uh, we will remove this square sign in the left hand side for this we will take square root on both of the sides so when we take square root it will be written as x y and z whole square is equals to 7 square multiplied by 42 and now you see here in the left hand side this two and this square root are gone and we get here x y and z is equals to here we can apply the square root separately on both of these values and it will become 7 square multiplied by 7 square and its whole square root multiplied by 42 and its whole square root. And now uh, here uh, these two and this square root are gone and we get here 7 times of uh, square root of 42. So this is the value of x, y and z and we call this is our equation number 4 and now because we find the values of x y and z so that here uh, we can divide uh, both of the sides by x y in order to find the value of z we divide both of the sides by x y so that uh, equation number 4 is written as after division by x y it will become here x y z divided by x y equals to 7 times of square root of 42 divided by xy so you see here this xy is cancelled out by this xy and in the left hand side we get z is equals to uh, 7 times of square root of 42 divided by here you have xy and here we uh, use equation number one okay so uh, from equation number one we have the value of xy is equals to 7 we put it here so uh, you see that uh, this 7 and this 7 are gone so here we have our uh, z is equals to square root of 42 so this is the first value of z and now here uh, we need to find uh, the other values of x and y so for the values of uh, x y uh, we divide equation number 4 
uh, we divide uh, equation number four by y z so when you divide equation number four by y z it will be written as uh, x y and z divided by y z is equals to seven times of square root of 42 divided by y z so here in the left in the right hand side we use uh, equation number two so uh, after using equation number two uh, we have in the left hand side this yz is cancelled out by this yz and we get x is equals to here you have seven times of square root of 42 divided by yz and from equation number two the value of yz is equals to 14 and you see here this is cancelled out by each other 7 times of 2 becomes here 14 so we get uh, the value of x is equals to square root of uh, 42 divided by 2 so we have uh, the value of x in this case is square root of 42 divided by 2 so this is the value of x and we have uh, only one value is remaining <coughs> and that is the value of y so that uh, for the value of y uh, we will uh, divide here uh, equation number 4 by zx okay so we divide uh, equation number 4 by zx so when you divide this value over uh, equation number 4 is written as x y and z divided by z x is equals to 7 times of square root of 42 divided by z x so here we use uh, equation number 3 in the right hand side uh, so in order to use this equation in the left hand side we have this z x is cancelled out by this z x and we get our y is equals to 7 times of square root of 42 and it is divided by zx and from equation number 3 the value of zx is equals to 21 and we cancel this term this is 7 times of 3 becomes 21 and we get here square root of uh, 42 divided by 3 so we have the value of z is equals to square root of 42 divided by 3 so this is the value of y and finally we have uh, the value of x is equals to square root of 42 divided by 2 and the value of y is square root of 42 divided by 3 and the value of z is equals to uh, square root of 42. 2 only okay square root of 42 so these are the three values of x and y and z and this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos